I found an agent named Johanna. Johanna's job is to sell the book to a publisher. She sold the book, she makes a percentage on that book as long as it happens. Her interest is in making sure I get what I deserve. Her role ends there. The publisher paid me money to write the book. They hope to earn their money back. Because I'm connected with a huge publisher, which is Atria Books, which is big, which is inside of Simon & Schuster, which is bigger, Atria is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. There's lots of imprints. It's a huge omegon of a thing. So Atria, in order to make back their money, wants to make sure that they can position the book to sell. They have a whole publicity department. They have a marketing department. The publicity person, her name is Fallon, her job is to get copies of the book into everyone's hands, uh, advanced copies into the media's hands, and to generate excitement and interest around it. So she does that for that book and all the other books she's in charge of. So she's trying to get everyone to be like, would this be good for you? Is this great for you? So she is out there doing those things. But she couldn't get me somewhere. I mean, yes, of course, the publisher is how I got on there. Because, yeah, of course they're making that effort. And, of course, people trust something coming from Simon & Schuster, coming from Atria Books is going to be good. Or they hope so. It would be very hard for me to self-publish and get a spot on the Today Show without any evidence of any platform. Simon & Schuster provides that platform. However, it'll only get there if someone likes the book. So while I appreciate people say, wow, she must have a good publisher, well, yes, but they wouldn't have me on uh, if they didn't think the book was good, number one. But also, they won't book you for TV unless you have some kind of personality. So what has also helped is, yes, Simon & Schuster helped create that you know, opened the doors and helped usher it in because I certainly didn't have time or resources to contact every producer. They do that in a big way. But those producers look at the book, they probably read a little bit here and there, and then they go to my website and watch the videos. And they go and see what social I have up and they wanna see what am I like. And luckily I have video everywhere. So they can say, oh, she'd be good. Because if I were not good on camera and I did not have that great a book, it doesn't matter who published it. They're just not gonna have it on. And I'm sure Simon Schuster has lots of books that flop, that no one really, it's hard to book them or the author's a pain in the ass or whatever. But I have been and made sure that I was a dream to work with. Meaning, there's a lot of authors who've never done anything in public before. They have no website, they have no coherent message, they have no nothing. I have been doing this long enough where I have a very glossed look. I have design team, I have this, I have that, that I have paid through the nose. In fact, a lot of my advance went toward consulting, design, marketing, all that stuff, to make sure I had the pieces that look very professional. And I post regularly. So anyone who's thinking of having me on, we like the book, we like the idea, we like the publisher, but what would she be like on the air? They go look at those things and then that does it. In fact, the publicist told me, you know, what seal the deal is you having video reels on your website? Because that's what they want. They're not in the business of literature. TV shows and broadcasts are in the business of personality and content. And I've been working on that a very long time. So yes, I do have a good publisher. They did open the doors, but they can't just get anyone on the Today Show. I will take a little credit for that as well.